can you bring the girl? Two of you come. So one day they left where they were living, not Oka, and came to Oka. And they met me where I was doing my car in a mechanic. Is that brother sleeping? You that was, was we are shouting, na 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 na. You are, you are starting sleeping. <laughs> so when this brother and sister came in mechanic where the mechanic shop where I was, the brother was sitting in front of my car. The wife was sitting in front behind. I said, "What's the matter?" He narrated the whole story. I asked the girl, what this brother said, is it true? Brother, in one voice, the girl said, it's true, sir. They are all true. I said, why are you doing that? He said, sir, I don't know. I said, but what do you think we can do? The girl said, I, I, I was thinking that the brother, he should, he should send me to a mother or somebody that will help to teach me. I said to the brother, you can go. He was shocked. I told him, I have seen what I'm looking for. The bad characters of the sister are not actually what is my worry now. I said to the brother, the sister is teachable. My brother, if you marry a woman that is unteachable, sister concrete, Hey, you are, you are own, you are own. You don't finish. Your own has just ended. But it is good to marry a sister that before you know it. <laughs> and if you don't abuse her tears, did you hear me? You didn't hear me. Many men have abused the tears of their wives. And their wives hardened more than Aradite. So this, this brother, I said to him, brother, I have seen what I'm looking for. This sister is a marriage, is a marriage material. I said, can you come to my house? He said, yes, sir. I said, brother, go. Later we talk. So later, this sister came to my house. Spent one week. What did I say? Not one hour. You don't talk about marriage issues under one hour. You don't. One of these days, I'm planning to organize this conference for one, one full conference like this. We are discussing nothing but what? marriage from morning till evening we finish the next day we finish the next day we go why there are problems in marriages many men are crying today many many men do you know many ministers on the pulpit and in the altar where the rest is when they go for program their wives are true. oh my god for some of them, ordinary order of urine of children has made life miserable for them. And you now, you want to rush into it because uh, to me, I think I'm, I'm, I'm matured. What makes you think you're matured? That's a mistake of young people. And once people are 18 years this year, especially in our time, Young people no longer want to acquire knowledge. Whatever. In the midnight. Eh, eh, hello? Hello? Yes. <laughs> yes, sir. I was, uh, I, honestly, I was thinking that by now, eh? You, you would have proposed. Propose now. Nah. So many of you. <laughs> That's why every little, every little hair do you make like this. Every, 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 check how many of your pictures in Facebook. 
Now you hear the worry. <laughs> what are you doing? You are sampling yourself in Facebook. Say, I'm available. <laughs> you won't see, you won't see a reasonable man's picture in Facebook. You won't. But those of you that are Facebook, WhatsApp, you are changing picture like a lot. Oh well. You are just advertising, say twenty-two. I'm 23 this year. I'm celebrating my birthday. <laughs> Brothers, they are advertising themselves for you. That's why they are no longer covering their laps. They want you to see. What, how many lapses have you ever seen in your life, my brother? That this particular one is throwing you into fire. So what I'm saying, people of God, is this sister came to my house after this one week. So after our first contact, do you know what happened? She broke down and started crying. First contact, first talk in that one week. She started crying. She started crying. Do you know why she was crying? Huh? She said, I am a fool. I didn't know that I am a fool. Brethren, I'm not, I'm not joking. I'm not exaggerating. This girl said, I never knew that I have been a fool. And when she was going, after the one week, I said to her, will you disappoint me? She said, I will never disappoint you. I will never. Now, that brother, guess what happened? The same brother that was accusing this sister, I now faulted him in two or three places. And I told him, brother, sometimes you people talk all manner of things, but you may not know that you yourself you have problems. Small brother, listen to me. You are full of yourself. One, two, three, you put on necklace on your neck. Who should talk to you already when, when you know what is correct for you? One, two, three, you are in first year, second year. In ND2, you go and engage a girl in HND2. Let me ask you. This young girl now you have chosen to marry. Who helped you to confirm that it is the will of God? I'm asking you. My mentor, my mentor, my mentor. Excuse me. Any Christian brother, Christian sister that really, really wants to do well in this race, in this Christian race, shouldn't be talking about mentor. You should be talking about disciple or a father in the Lord. A disciple that you relate very intimately with. Sister, sister, if you doubt me, tell yourself the truth. Have you noticed that you are shapeless? No, jokes apart. Ordinary sitting. Do you know how to sit? Some of you, when you are sleeping inside a room like this, now, a room like this, your mother will stay by the door. Just watch you here because if any brother enters here, your rapper is there. Your blouse is in the other side. Whereas your own body is on the other end. So why your mother is watching you here is because <laughs> I, know, I know the girl. Let me ask you. How many types of soup do you, can you boldly say you know how to prepare? Is it not only Indomie? I asked a question. Please listen to me. I went to teach somewhere. You may say, I know how to cook soup. Ah, soup. I know how to cook. Excuse me. Let me ask that question again. How 
how many of you can cook a pot of soup that can serve eight persons with hundred naira? I want I have caused trouble now. <laughs> Brother, see the people you want to marry. See them. If you can cook, raise your hand. <laughs> Take a look. Hundred naira. If you can do it, be bold and stand up. Look at one person. Look at one. What you know very, very well. <laughs> there is trouble in the house. Trouble in the house. And I like this kind of trouble. What you know very, very well is how to cook indomie with Irish potato, <laughs> Cameroon pepe, carrots, and by the time you finish cooking it, you just sit like this and be. <laughs> Brother, see the people you want to marry. And let me be frank with you. When you notice a woman's pointed nose is only before wedding. Didn't hear me. <laughs> After wedding, even if a woman's pointed nose is like this. Like this. If she cannot manage the home, you won't see her beauty again. Is it true? One girl now, only one girl said, I can prepare a pot of soup, 100 naira. And people, Omar, it will not be, it will not be, as you put it, as you are going, the thing is, yeah. <laughs> and do you know who can do this? Shh! Listen. Do you know the only person that can do this thing, this sister said? Somebody who grew under her mother. Hey, you didn't hear me? Somebody. Huh? Oh, grandmother. <laughs> Somebody. Shh, shh, who grew under her disciple. Sometimes your, your, your disciple comes into your house and you decide to test her. Saying that there is no money in this house. I beg. So that we eat something today. Check this 400 naira. Anything you can buy, buy. Let us use to. If you come to my house, sometimes you see up to 16 human beings in my house. 16. My brother is here. And he comes, I said, Daddy, how can I use 400 naira? 400 naira. He said, What did you say? You buy with 400 naira. I cannot do it all. Yeah, yeah. If you my love, you only know how to make your hair, and the thing will come here. <laughs> Bro, unfortunately, once you see the tip of the girl's breasts, your your hormones will go up, and you will no longer look. By the time you now enter the home, you say, "I never knew that I put my hand in a bulky sheet." I never knew. I never knew. I don't know what to do. There is nothing else to do than to do what? Marry her. My brother, if you don't want to manage your marriage, <laughs> put, your, put your eyes inside water. One, two, seven times. Clean your eye. Where, where? Many, many of these girls you are seeing here, they are not marriable. You did you think I'm talking my own? Bible says, Who can find 
a virtuous woman. Go and read that scripture. It is talking about a woman that will, will carry her home like this. Everything in that scripture is almost home. My sister, look where. Many of these brothers here, their original name is Orim Bordeok. <laughs> when they come like this now, they stretch their lips. They want to kiss. They want to kiss. But several of them are horrible. No wonder my Bible says, a faithful man who can find. One of our brothers, I was coming to this program. Did you notice that brother? Not this one. Oh. Did you notice that brother I came with two days ago? You didn't see his face. As we were just coming, he said, thank God for my wife. Thank God for my wife. I laughed. Why will he not thank God for his wife? Whenever you see a Christian brother bend down like this and read the manual that the manufacturer of marriage wrote, he will never but be thanking God all his days. And please, the manual is your Bible. I don't have time to go into there. Maybe Maybe in your local church or another time. My time is remaining five minutes. So I will hand over. So all I'm trying to tell you is this. The manual is in the Bible. But there are many, many good Christian books on marriage. Excuse me. Not, not, not motivational books. Are you with me? Not uh, 10 things that you need, a woman must have before she marries. Number one, she must be presentable. Number two, let her skirt not be below the knee. That was one, what one pastor was teaching in a CD. And young girls started reading, listening to it. Books like books written by men like men like Bile. No more to sit down there and listen to the principle of marriage. I gave this book to I came to preach in Enugu State. And one young girl, one woman came to where I was preaching. An Anglican church woman. She started painting her husband black. I said, Madam, I'm tired. What you will do for me? And I read this book. Call me back after. Brother, and guess what? The woman finished reading. She said, she called me on phone and said, Sir, after reading this book, I went home. I'm quoting her. I bathed my husband with tears. Say, I bathed him with tears. She says, sir, do you understand what it means to bath somebody with tears? I said, yes. She said, do you believe that my husband now enters the kitchen to assist me when I'm cooking? She said, do you believe now that my husband is now early in the morning now he baths my children? While I cook their food, he is buffing them and preparing them for marriage. This was the same man, this woman called devil. One of my MSC students came to my office and started, hey, hey, and started cutting her husband into pieces. I said, my sister, are you sure you are doing what? I said, I, if I am doing everything, everything, everything. Don't I wash his clothes? Don't I cook his food? Don't I do this? <laughs> I just asked him, buy this book. Buy this book. Guess what, people of God? She came back to my office 
You know what she said? Do I tell you? She said, Doc, the book is working. She said, my husband traveled home and was telling his mother, I don't know what came over my wife for some days now. For some days now. She's no longer shouting. She's no longer doing this thing. My wife suddenly changed. The man said to his mother, I'm still watching her. Excuse me, sister. What you used to unlock a man is a little thing. Not grammar. But you cannot learn it except you read the manual. So please, brother, go and read the manual. I should pray, right? For the 30, for 30 minutes, right? Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. 15 more minutes, then we enter 10 questions. So, what am I talking? The manual is important. Let me warn you, whether you are listening to me here physically, or you are listening by the audio, or you are listening to me by the cable, whether it is whatever, by tube, anyhow you are listening to me. Jesus said that the manufacturer of marriage only made marriage for male and what? Please shout it. Male and what? Marriage is never for male and male. It is never for female and female. Let alone being for man and an animal. Network carried a young girl that gave birth to four dogs. Did you see it? How many of you saw it in the internet? Thank you. Please raise your hand. Let others be sure that I am not lying. Thank you. One, two, three. Oh, more than four. A young a church hall, church altar, and the priest wedded a dog and a man. <laughs> Is that what you are copying? Sister? My brother, is that what you will be copying when you go to UK to do your masters? You come there, a woman say, I don't want to take that nonsense. Whatever a man can do, a woman can do it even better. Women liberation and all kind of satanic doctrines across the globe. And several people, several, several people are importing them and bringing them inside Nigeria. That's why marriages are collapsing. Marriages are collapsing. Why? Because the Bible teaches several things. Women, especially women in our time. Please try and read this book on my, Please now. Beloved, not because of your money. Please try and read this book. Marriages started collapsing in the whole world. Not because God that made marriage made mistake. No! But our people, look up now, oh, human beings decided to misconstrue, to change the idea of God. Human beings decided to bring their own mentality. And what is the mentality? And that is the same thing with some of you here. Look up. Some of you here, your mentality is that the man should not rule your nonsense. Whatever he likes, I give it to him. After all, nobody. How can I submit my money to my 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 my, my, my hard earned salary to my, my to a man, and a man will be controlling me anyhow? Sister, 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 are you hearing me? If you enter marriage with this mentality, you will have problem. Let me tell you again. No two drivers, even though two of them may be experts, can drive a vehicle at the same time.
so many of you young girls, even in this camp now, if a brother asks you now, get up from where you're sitting, go and sit there. Say, for what? For what? Don't you see the farm? I want to sit under the farm. Sister, have you started noticing insubordination in you? Have you discovered that that girl came to me, you know one of the things she said? She said that she grew up with a mentality that men shouldn't control me. Men shouldn't give me order. I do whatever I like. If I should even obey anybody, it should be an adult. It's not, a, it's not my contemporary. Please, is there an adult that will marry? Is it not your contemporary? And she had that mentality. And the thing started spoiling her marriage there and then. My sister, do you notice that you don't have regard for brothers? Then you are not a marriage material. My brother, do you notice that there is one consistent statement you normally make? I don't tolerate nonsense. I don't tolerate nonsense. My brother, do you know you normally made, make this statement? Both in, in words and in practice. And can I say something to you? When people don't tolerate nonsense and they enter marriage, their marriage must collapse. You know why? There is this kind of food that women cook called nonsense. You didn't hear me. Did you hear me? And the pot with which they cook it is called nonsense. Dished out in a plate called nonsense. Eating with spoon called nonsense. And on a table called nonsense. And when a man of God refuses to eat that food, his marriage will turn to nonsense. But when a man that tolerates nonsense eats the food with all these nonsenses in them, his marriage will become sense. But to see your, heart, your mouth, I don't tolerate. Excuse me. Oh, we for a man much giant. <laughs> you slap your wife any man that slaps his wife is a fool <laughs> you didn't hear me hey is there anything better than fool it's an idiot do, you, do I prove it to you ok let me prove it with two things has there been any day you went to defecate in the toilet and you used tissue as you were cleaning your anus the tissue busted and your hand touched the sheet. Please tell me the truth if you say the truth. Has it ever happened to you? I didn't say it is happening now. <laughs> Has it ever happened to you? Eh? You, you came out of the toilet and used knife to cut off your, your finger, right? Why? Ah, you are not talking to me. You didn't cut your hand? I thought you would have cut your hand. Do you know your wife is an integral part of you? Your wife is like your, you are like the right hand side. Your wife is your left hand side. How come that just because of a little mistake your wife makes, you lift your right hand side? On the left hand side. Are you not a fool to do that? Uh -uh, you are not talking again. You see, some of you, you came out in life and you noticed that your father has been beating your mother. Every day your mother has been crying. Hey, oh, I don't know what to do. I've, I've married and gone into hell because of marriage. Oh. And your mother has been crying like this. And every, from time to time, your mother will cook soup, will cook food and bring to your father. Your father will say, I will not eat. I will not eat. You eat, finish the food, finish it. And your mother will beg, eat now. I beg, eat now. Eat now. Eat now. And then you came with this mentality that 
Once a woman cooks soup like this and you don't like it, the next thing is say, I won't eat. And the woman should beg. Can you change? Let me say one thing, very important. And I will, I will close. Because it's even better for me now. Can I show you, if actually God is the maker of marriage, there is a principle that he set out for people to follow. But I came to discover that my generation doesn't like that principle. And that is one of the common mistakes they make which collapse their marriages. Look at Genesis chapter 2. Please look at the first place the issue of marriage was mentioned in the Bible. I don't want to teach you any other thing in that manual. I'm only trying to pick this one because many of you abuse it. In chapter 2 verse 18, do you see what the Bible says? And the Lord God said, please, who said? Your bishop said? Uh -uh. Shouldn't it be your archbishop? Okay, what about your vicar? Who said? The supreme commander of the whole universe. The very beginning of all that ever began. The apex of power. The all-knowing God. The omniscient and the omnipotent God. He was the one that said this thing. He said, It is not good that the man should be alone. What did I discover there? I discovered there that God is saying, My brother, look up now. Maybe God came one day. You know, God was coming always in those days in the Garden of Eden. You remember now that the Bible says in the cool of the evening he will come. Is that true? Uh -huh. Maybe one God was, God was coming one day and he was just coming. Look at me. And he saw where Adam, Adam sat down like this and, uh, and from there. Like one of our lecturers who came from school, he was very hungry, wanted to cook to eat. He, he picked beans and put on fire around five o'clock. Waking up around nine, he saw the beans and the pot and everything turn red. Turn red. Only God saved him that the fire did not burn him that day. And he opened his eyes around. Ha! Smoke everywhere. He just went to the cooking gas. Chum. That was how he ended the cooking and the hunger. Oh, brothers. Some of you say women are nonsense. Honestly, women are not nonsense. Women are assets. Good wives are gifts. Honestly speaking, I am not saying this thing to entice you, but even if I entice you, let me tell you, a good wife is a gift. If your life will belong, your wife, brother, just beg God to give you, hi, I don't know how to say this. Just beg God. Let him press one, press one very well, press one very well, press one very well, and dash you. If God dashes you a wife, hey, hey, if you enter your parlor, and your parlor will be welcoming you. <laughs> this is how your parlor will be saying, come, 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 come. Not, not when you enter your bedroom, bedroom mixed order. <laughs> brother, brother, if you if you come into a woman, a virtuous woman's kitchen, you will just carry your 
carry the corn you are eating and you will sit on the floor. And you'll be talking, say, honey, uh, what were you taking? Eating on the floor. Because the kitchen is like a chalet. You enter your bedroom, everything is arranged. Your wife is a, a wife, a good wife is a manager. He will, she will manage your life. She will package you. When you want to go out in the morning, you say, I don't like this one, please remove it. You should have wondered why I'm looking the way I'm looking. <laughs> my brother, my brother is looking at me very well for the first time. <laughs> He's looking at me very well. It is, it is a product of a good wife. A good wife. A woman that knows how to beat the drum. Do you know the drum? Good food. Good food. You will not be eating mama put. Mr. Biggs will not be for you. My brother, look for a good one. Don't look for Nketa Chacha. Nketa Ara. Mad dog. Don't look for a mad dog. Mad dogs will not do you well. So God maybe was coming into the garden one day and saw where Adam was lying like this and God said, Cut! Oh, I will not do that. It is not good. My brother, there's a time you will get to in life. Bread and granite will no longer be good for you. Bread and granite will want to block your anus. Bread and coke. Bread and coke. Several brothers eat bread, coke, bread, coke, gala, 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 gala. They shatter their heads. Every day, banana and granite, banana and granite. If you come to the house, banana and granite, banana and granite. Brother, when will you eat granite and banana rich? That we know how to be the drunk. <laughs> and unfortunately, many of you are waiting for when you are 45 years. When you marry a woman at 45 and use 45 year old blood to impregnate her, and you see around, around, around the 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 child who just Lord. Don't you? The Bible says, like the arrow in the hand of a mighty man is like the children of what? You. Some of you are looking for when you are one million years. By then you have built skyscrapers. Have I said you should go and get into marriage premature? That's not what I'm saying. But several of you that are looking at me here, you are born in lost. You are burning. You know you are of age to get married. You know that the Lord has provided a little thing that can sustain you. So people marry when they are old. And again, some people now go into marriage. <laughs> After many persuasions, the same you were shall. Anyway, sure. Let me marry now. And unfortunately, some people now marry. They live in Oko. Their wives live in Oka. And as they are watching all the young girls in Oko, and the young girls are saying to them, Come. See my news. Come. Come. See them. Come. Come now. Come now. Their wives are at Oka. Say, my husband is a good man. Say, good man. The Bible say, it is not good. I, I wish we can study this manual. Let me leave it. Because that's not, it. already my time is gone now. One thing I want to bring out there, look at what God said additionally. He said, I will make him what? Please let
let me ask you. Did God say, I will ask, I will allow her to pick any girl she wants to marry? Please check your Bible. Did God say, I will release the responsibility into the hand of her mother and her father? Please check now. Did God say, okay, the pastor? Huh? Huh? What I noticed these days is that, which is one of the most disastrous mistakes that many people make, is this. Look up. Several of them. Look at the responsibility of making a help meet for a brother. Brother, look at me. Which God will make for you and your, and your body will be cooler. And you will be happy. And you'll be waving your hand all over the all the all, all the all the days of your life on air. Say, Father, thank you. Blessed be your holy name. Several of you brothers, look at me. This is the responsibility of the making. They say, God, I'm taking it from you. Don't make for me. I will make it myself. God. God, oh, that girl I want to marry, she was my classmate in Faith Poly. So, I know her. I have eaten her food one day. Moreover, God, oh, as I was walking with her on the road, she is just the kind of woman I like. My heart, the same thing. We studied the same university. She she read pharmacy. I read medicine. So, two of us, we team up and establish a hospital. So, God, and moreover, my father and my mother say I shouldn't marry outside our village. She's from my village. She can speak grammar very well. And, and, and they say all this, say all this. And do you know what God normally does? Huh? Do I tell you what God normally does? God will just come to his house and stay. And be watching you. Be watching you. You now go do your traditional marriage. And you laugh. <laughs> and on the day of your reception, they say, carry the girl. You carry the girl like this. Photographer. And they say, feed the woman before all. Let us see how you will feed her. And he say, open your mouth. <laughs> or after the marriage, is that who you are? You too, is that who you are? You are Satan, you are devil. You call me devil, I will slap. Hey, what I slap me. Slap me tonight. Slap me. Hey, hey, hey. If you don't slap, it will, it will hold the man by the neck. If you don't slap me today, she will betide you. Shame upon you. Your mother fool, your father fool. Trust the girl now. One boy said to me, my wife called me a madman. I said, you called me a madman. She said, I called you. He said, I will teach, I will do to you what mad people do to people. So, ah! That's how mad people act. And the boy accepted to be mad. But when God says, I will make, this generation doesn't like it. You don't like God to make for you. And after that, they live maybe one or two weeks, three weeks after honeymoon. In the night, look at the bed. Look at the bed. The woman will face like this. The man will face like this. And devil will come in their midst. And say, and in the midnight, 
when they just woke up, wake up like this, and the, the devil will just get up in the midnight and look at the woman. <laughs> you look at the man. <laughs> you know the devil doesn't laugh well. The devil is a wicked man. The devil's laughter is very bad. It's very ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Around that time, sir. So the same devil will now come. If she continues to do like, is that what you will take? Is that what you will take? Did you marry her to be behaving like this? Divorce her. Divorce her. And you now come out and say, I can't continue to take this nonsense. <laughs> Can you see where it starts? From verse 18 of Genesis. Who selects